Hello everyone, my name is Casey Crane and the intervention I have selected and will be discussing is coaching on the individual level. To get started, I will give you an overview of what coaching means and the purpose of coaching intervention and how to use coaching on the individual level. Coaching has been defined as the process of equipping people with the tools, knowledge, and opportunities they need to develop and become more effective. The purpose of coaching it is to assist individuals with creating systems to implement developmental objectives to increase performance and or career development. Give feedback throughout the developmental process and continue to coach the individual in various areas of development. Coaching is used to foster relationships and that involves three factors, the coach, individual, and the task. Through the coaching intervention, both parties need to communicate openly and effectively and understand the coaching expectations between the person doing the coaching and the person being coached. There are many and various features or characteristics of coaching to include, there, I will name just a few to give a background of some characteristics that a coach can use in developing an intervention with an individual. Features or characteristics of coaching can include knowing the individual, foster a relationship early on and build a rapport. Collaboration, that will allow the individual and the coach to get to know themselves and not make it one-sided whereas the individual is being coached on everything. It allows them to tell the areas that they want to improve on as well. Create developmental objectives and action plans so the individual can visually see the area of focus. Find potential and lesser abilities and skills to strengthen those competencies. Motivate by celebrating small achievements when a short-term goal has been met. Support the individual throughout the entire process. That can include one-on-ones and or check-ins. Also provide feedback throughout the entire process and allow the individual, the individual to also give feedback on their progress. At the end of the developmental objection plan is to have a check-in to ensure the individual has attained the knowledge and understanding of the task. That way their performance can increase. When coaching at the individual level, an understanding of both strengths and weaknesses are key factors for success in coaching intervention. Mackey enlisted a strengths-based approach model to examine how to enhance strengths and weaknesses in coaching intervention. There are four areas discussed in his approach. The first is underutilized. The technique here is to bring an awareness to the weakness and pair it with a complementary strength. Second, overutilize. This technique, the individual should apply optimal moderation to the strength to highlight areas of weakness to focus on. Third is fully utilized. In this technique, the individual will apply the weakness into an alignment with strengths to bring about a balance. The fourth approach is misused. And for this technique, the individual needs clarification of both their strengths and their weaknesses. In the next segment, I will provide two scenarios that can be used for coaching intervention and how to use those interventions. The first scenario is to create a development object or action plan to for an advisor to understand knowledge-based articles to better support customers with technical issues. A few key components of intervention that can be used is to provide coaching opportunities for areas of improvement, have the individual clarify what are their strengths and weaknesses in understanding their resources to supporting the customer, consider one-on-ones or check-ins regularly to check and get a clear update if the individual is retaining the information and able to adopt the new behaviors.
Provide feedback through performance evaluations and performance reviews. Make sure to celebrate small goal achievements. This is a way to bring about positive motivation and give the individual the morale needed to continue development. The second scenario is to create a development objective that will help an advisor implement competencies to reach career goals. Intervention methods that can be implemented are creating short-term goals on what skills the individual wants to better develop. Have an understanding of what career aspirations they are wanting and the intent of how they will develop. Support the developmental growth. Continue to motivate the individual on the career journey and provide feedback along the way. Feedback include, can include, as the coach, your own developmental processes and resources utilized. This has concluded my training presentation and I have added my references. Hope you were informed on organization development coaching intervention. Thank you for watching.